Am I the asshole? For asking future Mill not to tell my toddler they make her sad. My oldest son is three yo my fiancé's mom came over few weeks ago when leaving, asked my three yo for a hug. He initially said no walked away. Came back unprompted hugged her. She said oh good BC I was going to be sad. W my fiancé's, aunt's best friend's edits, I sent her this. Summed up. We're teaching three yo that he's in control of his own body self-defined boundaries regardless of how it makes someone feel. If he's trying to make someone upset on purpose, that's a different story. We don't want him to go against his boundaries to make someone feel better. I'm sure you just want to show he's important to you but we'd appreciate it if you could show it in a different way. Fmilop, I'd appreciate you not sending me these kinds of messages and we have these conversations in person. Thank you. Op I don't really see a difference to be honest. I would have said the same things in person. I didn't see this topic as one that needs to be discussed too much. If you have a response I'm obviously open to hearing it, but it won't change the fact that saying things that could make my kids feel guilty responsible for others' feelings will be accepted. Again, you can show that you care for the boys but not in ways that make them feel bad. From LBC having adult conversation via text I believe are pretty cowardice. When you address me or any other adult, via text, it's not really appropriate, so I will end this conversation with if you can't talk things over with me instead of telling me what not to do then that in itself is a problem. So I'm done. Up again, I would say the same words to you in person, nothing cowardice about the method I choose to say these words. The reason I didn't see it made sense to do it in person is BC I'm essentially asking you a favor it's your choice to acknowledge it or not. I wasn't looking for a debate about it, just asking that you please not make certain comments to my babies. I'm alright if she'd prefer me to discuss something like this in person, but why ignore my initial message? Seems like blame shifting diverting to me. She then went to my fiancé texted him so by now I'm sure OP told you she was messaging me, if you guys have something you need to say to me just say it. They had a 30 minutes phone call my fiancé told me she said. She's already distanced herself from coming over she'll distance herself more if she has to. It's not something she was doing intentionally I never said it was intentional, just bringing her attention to this and potential repercussions chose to message her bc i'm horrible at having deep stressful convos in person i have adhd so can't process what i want to say what other person is said formulate responses etc also this is a boundary so not really up for discussion or debate either she chooses to stop or doesn't am i the asshole for asking this or how i brought it up once she responded your only response should have been okay talk soon. Your fiancé needs to call his mother and have these discussions with her, not you after the fact. Info she's already distanced herself from coming over and she'll distance herself more if she has to. What does that mean? What's happened in the past that she's needed to distance herself from coming over? I just wanna know what is up with redditors making a mountain out of a molehill. This doesn't even seem that serious and people are acting like the mill was trying to brainwash the kid or something lol. Children have bodily autonomy like any other person. Info Mill mentions that she has already been distancing herself prior to this incident. Why is that? I am guessing this isn't the first thing like this to happen? Not the asshole. She is passive aggressive and now has chosen to remove herself from having a relationship with your kid. Not your fault. You set a boundary to protect your kid and she doesn't like it. I find you insufferable just by reading the texts. You're the asshole. Based on these comments I'd say humanity has another 2-3 generations left in us. We had a good run. Not the asshole. It's your child if she has a problem with it she doesn't have to be around. It's not that hard to respect the parents' boundaries and wishes. All this over a hug. Damn, parents these days are getting too way over the top. 
your fiancé should be handling these conversations with his mother if she's going to act like a 12-year-old. Tone is missing in text messaging and meanings are often misconstrued. Sucks as it is Op's preferred form of communication. Esh but the kid. This stuff is so weird. It's my boundary. I hate the internet for making this such a thing. You're the asshole, I agree with the mill. Don't say you don't see a difference in text and in person when talking about personal boundaries, text is far more impersonal and often a root cause for arguments. Such important topics need to be said in person. Jesus Christ our society is doomed. This shit reads like a South Park episode about helicopter parenting in 2023. Not the asshole. You're the asshole, a massive one at that. You treated that lady like shit. Shame on you. You're the asshole for making a massive mountain out of a molehill a grandma hugging her grandson. You're the asshole. This post somehow hits every silly am I the asshole? Combo. Weaponized therapy talk and nonsensical ADHD excuses. All of you sound neurotic and exhausting. I don't want to hug any of you. Y'all want your mills to be evil so bad. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Your fiancé's mother did not force your son to hug her. Would you rather she be totally indifferent? You're not starting out on a good note. Not the asshole. I guess grandma will not be seeing or talking to grandkids for a while. I hate people like OP, person face palming. You're the asshole, trying to make your kid seem like only his feelings are valid? Not the asshole, you did the right thing standing your grounds and even with fiancé's approval as he helped you edit the message. Seeing how she acts so entitled and bratty, you did the right thing to text, it's the calmiest way to go to with those boomers. God help the mill. Imagine the eggshells she is going to have to walk on to be around her son and grandkid. You're the asshole, especially since you kept typing long ass messages after she said she was done texting. Not the asshole. Post this in R just normal and you'll get an entirely different response. You're the asshole. You were way over the top with that conversation. Your initial text had nothing to do with the situation that happened. Then you doubled down and lost. You're making yourself miserable for no reason. You're the asshole. What the hell did I just read? I thought by the title, your mill did it in a different context. I'm not seeing the problem here. I don't think your mill really did anything that bad. Not the asshole. That's a grown woman emotionally manipulating a kid to push their boundaries. Come on. People need to get over themselves. ETA since some people have interesting takes in the comments folks. Even toddlers are entitled to body autonomy. Not the asshole and yes your mill is blame shifting as well as trying to emotionally blackmailing everyone with not coming over. It's also ironic she calls you a coward for texting and then starts texting her son. She sound like a very small and petty person. I would say the same to your face. Proceeds to not say it to her face.